So the final episode of Nightwave Season 5 is now live, complete with a new boss for us to kill and of course a new melee weapon for us to farm as well. A new infested glaive called the Pathocyst, which is of course the new boss's weapon, so you get to get your hands on that by farming him. Now I've not fully tested the weapon yet, but these are the stats. It's a viral and slash weapon, mostly with some IPS in there as well, while also having a 30% status chance and a slow enough attack speed. Now the fun thing about this glaive is that when you throw it, it spawns in little Nidus looking maggots in a line, which follow the path of the glaive as you throw it and then attack nearby enemies. So I will have a video on this weapon tomorrow. The boss in question from the end of the Nightwave season is called the Zealot Prelate and his encounter will become a permanent fixture once Nightwave ends or it will return very soon after Nightwave ends. So it is an interesting encounter. He has an invulnerability phase of sorts as you fight him that you can bypass with the help of a lantern. Basically anything outside the range of the lantern can't take damage but once you get them inside the light you can nuke the living crap out of him. Like I said the boss will drop each part for the new weapon. It has got three parts. The blade, the blueprint, and the sub cortex each part wait for it right wait for it has a 33.33 percent chance of dropping let me say that again just in case just in case you missed and you feel like you need to rip the piss out of an irishman today 33.33 percent drop chance for each part now to access the fight you will need the zealot codes which means unless you've farmed some and kept them from the outbreak event a few weeks ago then you're going to need to run three of the outbreak invasion missions on the planets that the derelict ships are orbiting for me it was mars and pluto or right now today it's mars and pluto basically the same as the outbreak event a while ago wherever these derelict missions are run three invasion missions on that planet and you will get one of those zealot codes this gives you access to the assassination mission to fight the new boss now these outbreak missions refresh every 24 hours so you can only get two of these zealot codes every day that's all you can get so you can only farm the boss twice a day keys can't be shared if you know what i mean like you can't join a squad not having a key while everyone else has one and hope to get access to the boss fight it simply won't allow you to start the encounter until you have a key as well now the fight itself is pretty simple it's not too technical i will let the full fight run so you can see it yourself it was my first encounter of the new boss so i had no real idea of what to expect but i do however fully expect the warframe community to have a cheese strategy for him within a day and it will allow us to nuke the living crap of him probably in one or two shots if I guess this invulnerability phase doesn't actually get torn off. Now, when you first encounter the boss, you get him to 50%. He will run off while making ads invincible. The only way to kill these infested now is to seek out the zealot that is carrying the lantern, the fecker with the red waypoint. He's not too hard to miss. Kill him, pick up the lantern. Killing infested near the lantern seems to charge it up and increase the radius of the light so that more enemies will be inside it because the only way you can harm those infested and the boss as well is by getting them into the light. After he breaks the lantern, because he will break the lantern, he will begin to heal himself by linking to nearby infested. Simply kill all of the infested so that he can't heal them. I guess a nuking frame will do this in one go. Then it's a rinse and repeat for the lantern and then going back to dealing more damage, then disrupting the heal again until the fight is complete. Now it is an interesting fight. Like I said, not very hard but it is different. It's no feckin' sergeant, that's for sure. You're not gonna just run in and one-shot him. But like I said earlier, you can only get two of those keys a day. So you're either gonna have to trade for parts or sell parts you already have in order to get them, or else it's gonna take you a few days to get the parts from this boss. Now that's the new boss, the Zealot Prelate. And after Nightwave, he will become a permanent fixture at some point. He looks a bit like a Velociraptor, like an infested Velociraptor with the head shaped the way it is and of course those red twitching claws as well expect the video on the glaive tomorrow let me know what you think of the new boss fight once you encounter it hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more warframe and as always thanks very much for watching
must not steal our life. The inbox has messages for you.